So today's the day. Floppy doors are going away. So, I already removed the uh, passenger door, which was a bear. I had one of the bolts come out. They are, of course, I welded another on them. Um, Phillips. Let's see if I can find one here. Right here. The only one that come out. So they look like this. Get some light. There we go. And there's, of course, no good way to get in there. So, several attempts. One, two, three, four. Four times get the... Uh, the ones off. This one on the top came out, no problem. These two I heated and took out, no problem. One on the bottom came out, no problem. Two on the bottom came almost out and snapped off. So, yeah. So we're going to uh, cross that bridge when I get back here. I'm gonna have to drill that plate out, re-tap it to uh, get some traffic. So. Before I forget, let me let me put a little WD-40 in here. You'll clean that up after. Oh, I'll just that guy later. Over, not a good sign. Okay, so we got some WD-40 on that. I had to break out the cardboard creeper. I'll be taking this door off. Hopefully tonight. So I went and measured on the good truck. <laughs> the one I spent quite a bit of time on did it right. Uh, the 52. Uh, and it measured to be just two inches. The bottom, the bottom piece of the door where it's missing. So it would be the bottom that runs underneath the bottom uh, sill. So I took some two inches. Grinding's on this. So I welded two inches in. Now, did a lot of little wells and had turned the welder right down because that metal was thin. I sanded it down, ground it down is good. I didn't want to get into doing what I did on the on the uh, 52 was coming up into here and fabricate that whole bottom. This is a rat rod, it's not a show truck. I mean, really, <laughs> it's already been customized forever, got it. So yeah, that's two inches, put it in, that's welded, that seam, that seam is welded. I rebuilt the corner. Now it looks like a hole, but it's not, it's folded over. And I got to fold over the other side the other way. That's how it kind of looked on that. So, yeah, that's this one. I'll get this door back on, hopefully uh, tonight. And uh, I'll get the other door off. And maybe uh, next couple nights I'll, I'll weld that one in. Uh, hopefully that door is in better shape. Then the passenger side, I can't remember. I don't think I've ever, I know I've never had these off. Oh. No. No, oh, no. Oh, same thing. Bad. And same thing. Gonna have to rebuild that corner. Hopefully get that gets rid of the rattle when I shut the door and go down the road because it's really smooth other than that driver's door going blah, 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 on the bottom. Nice and smooth and quiet. So there we are. Quick update. We got some rain. Did we get some rain? We got some rain. Finally. We've been like three weeks. Um, and the grass is green again. Had to mow the lawn in a couple weeks. It was pretty brown. You can see the resemblance, uh, the, what's left of the brown. And it resembles a lawn now. 
Uh, Mustang, all ready for inspection. And we'll put it on the road and get a title on it, drive it a little bit, do a few videos on it, and chuck it. Down the road she goes. Although I do like the 06 Mustang, a lot of room in it, very comfortable. Um, I've already got my convertible. I don't need another Mustang, and I want to be working on the 78 Ford and do some more work on this truck. I don't know. What else can I run my mouth about? I think that's it. Okay, so a little quick update. I'll bring you back when I do the door, uh, the other door. I'll show you what it looks like before I get carving into it. I did leave a hole right here on purpose. And one here on purpose. So water can drain as it goes in the window where there is no glass in it for now. That'll be next year. Some new glass from the windows. Side, that's the only ones that need are the side ones. That way you can crank it up because when it's uh, raining, it has tendencies of vortex to swirl that water right back in, right in the cab. Not like we're trying to drive it in the rain, but if you get caught out in the rain, it's nice to have, uh, nice to have a, uh, a backup window so you don't get soaking wet. Keeps the seats dry too. All right, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking the videos. Big thumbs up if you like them. Uh, good comments. Share. Tell your friends. Invite them over. Garage is big. They can all hang around in here. Everybody else does. So quiet here today. Okay. See you soon.